Welcome to the Atomic Heritage Foundation. I'm Cindy Kelly and I'm the founder of this organization, a nonprofit. We're conveniently located three blocks from the White House in Washington, D.C. But we work around the country with the Manhattan Project sites. Next year is the 10th anniversary of the Atomic Heritage Foundation. Many people ask how we got started. It happened that I was working with the Department of Energy. I switched in 1993 after nearly a full career with the Environmental Protection Agency to work on cleaning up the former nuclear weapons complex. In the process of cleaning it up, I realized that the Department of Energy intended to do such a thorough job that all of the Manhattan Project properties were going to be raised at Los Alamos. For the last 10 years, we had been working on trying to preserve some of the particular Manhattan Project uh, properties, not only the Los Alamos properties that I mentioned earlier, they were called the V-Site. Uh, we have been uh, working with the Los Alamos National Laboratory to preserve a handful of sites there and with the community to preserve the house where the Oppenheimer family lived along with others on the so-called bathtub row, the homes of the echelon, top echelon of scientific and military leaders at Los Alamos during the Manhattan Project. We have been working too to try to preserve uh, one of the so-called signature facilities of the Manhattan Project at Oak Ridge, the K-25 gaseous diffusion plant. At our first grant in 2003 to write a report to Congress on how best to preserve the Manhattan Project. Our recommendation was to create a Manhattan Project National Historical Park. And the next year, we were able to get Congress to enact legislation requiring the National Park Service to study whether it was feasible and where would they have such a Manhattan Project Park. Now, this summer, we met a major milestone in July when Secretary of Interior Salazar presented the results of this study to Congress. This study recommended that Congress designate a national park in three sites, Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Hanford. We've been busy too uh, with books, probably uh, our most popular is our anthology called uh, The Manhattan Project, The Birth of the Atomic Bomb in the Words of Its Creators, Eyewitnesses, and Historians. We are also now launched on a series of guides to the Manhattan Projects. We have one on New Mexico and will soon be followed by guides to the sites in Tennessee and Washington State. We're working with the Department of Energy, the National Park Service, state and local governments, our sister nonprofits uh, in the communities dedicated to preserving this history and connecting the dots to the innovations that are going on now in our national laboratories. We also believe one of the most compelling ways to learn about history is through the voices of the people who were the participants and the actors. So we have dedicated ourselves to trying to record the oral histories of the amazing men and women who were part of this project. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, please explore our website. Uh, we are funded uh, by uh, private donations as well as governmental and, and uh, grants from private charities, but we appreciate your help and support as we look forward to bringing a Manhattan Project National Historical Park.